Sophie, let's go straight to Burberry and great to have you with us on the programme as always. Does this signal the end of the post-pandemic boom? Yes. What are we returning to? Sophie, I don't know. What do you think we're going back to? Hi, good morning. Yes, this is obviously the very big, big read this morning. Burberry really quite, quite disappointing. Um, and I think we can't necessarily conflate the entire um, luxury side of things to purely these results. Burberry has got a, a really specific set of challenges and within that opportunities as well. For Burberry, I think that we are going to be coming back to a, to a lower base than pre-pandemic, um, to be completely frank. Um, but within that, you know, it's done a huge amount of work on its creative turnaround, you know, repositioning itself at the higher end of that value chain. Um, so that should cushion it slightly. Um, but actually, I think when you look at product range, the breakdown of the demographic that they're going after, I think that there are, frankly, just a lot more challenges for them to, to clear. Um, and that's why I think the growth run runway does look a little bit more problematic to me. So, Sophie, how does your outlook look for next year if we understand that each and every stock has a narrative like Burberry? Everybody has an individual story. How do you coalesce those many corporate stories into a market call? It's certainly a challenge, you know, I can't really think of a time when there's been quite this much divergence as, as well, really, you know, it's certainly, it's certainly a dynamic time, isn't it? Um, I think for me, if we keep it with, within, within luxury, um, it's really, for me, it's, it's going back to those old school tactics um, and understanding kind of the, the best in class offerings and breaking, breaking that down. Um, because, you know, things have become so segregated, so polarized in a lot of situations, we're actually just saying, oh, this, this sector looks reasonably OK or this sector looks reasonably challenged is no longer, um, is no longer good enough. So it's looking at best-in-class propositions um, and always, always, as you know me, coming back to that valuation point and remembering that price is what you pay and value is what you get. And that is something that, that really cannot be forgotten, particularly as we head into next year, which I think is going to be um, really quite a bumpy ride no matter where you look in the market.